Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of Cora Quest, which has just arrived today. I backed it on Kickstarter actually in 2021, so it's taken only a number of months to arrive. This game is quite interesting, quite special. It's aimed at children. It's a set accessible even for or for a family uh, it's designed for kids to be able to play six plus so it's not super small children but kids nevertheless and it's very kids oriented all of the art is done by kids in fact during the kickstarter most of it was drawn by the kids of backers including my own daughter there's some artwork in here for, by her it was also done by dan hughes and cora or cora and dan hughes i like that it's that way around in the designed by and it was it was like a little project i think it was a school project that cora did and his, her dad dan helped to produce this game and then decided to kickstart and it got heavily backed and it looks really really awesome so in this video i just want to do a quick unboxing show you what you get in it but it's mostly just to make you aware of it if you're if you're a father like myself and you're interested in getting your kids into gaming this could be the sort of game that's going to do it if you don't know anything about dan he's also a fellow yorkshireman he's a big figure in the board gaming community he's done reviews with cora on the dice tower inspiration for this channel when sophie used to join me as well as starting i think he started the this game is broken podcast guys if you've not seen that podcast he's not in it anymore and by seen of course i mean listen to i would highly recommend it i listen to it while i run it's very funny and it lets me feel like i actually know stuff about board games anyway let's stick to the matter at hand this game is now out it's just been delivered now the kickstarter i think it's going to go to retail this one in front of me is the kickstarter edition in fact it tells you all the contents here but let's look at it in person as i mentioned the artwork well, the game itself, this is primarily for kids. It's a family accessible game. It's a dungeon crawler, so it's cooperative as well, one to four players. And then, as I mentioned, this this this, this geezer Gary did all the artwork. It's mostly drawn, I think maybe all drawn by kids, but don't quote me on that. And then he's brought it to life, coloured it, rendered it. So these are kids' drawings just with a professional artist bringing them to life. So I think the box is fantastic. It's a bit smaller than I thought. Uh, this is much smaller than a sort of zombie side game style s box a seaman game but it doesn't really matter i i guess i just thought it was going to be a bigger box it feels super quality as i remove that it's a nice thick card nothing cheap and flimsy here in fact that feels really rigid if anybody cares about that and then let's have a look what we get inside the first thing i obviously notice is this massive pack of die again guys this is aimed at kids this is not going to be super complex in fact it looks like the hits and misses from what i can see here in fact two hits on the die and three on the red so the red's more powerful than the white these are huge chunky dice so hopefully that comes across in my hands but these are these are some of the biggest chunkiest dice i've seen like i said aimed at kids so there we go nice and simple straightforward hit or miss by the look of it you get a little baggie of standees because this game does not have any miniatures it's all cardboard standees so we'll need those and then you get a load of cards which we'll look at in a little minute and some items and stuff in this pack loads of baggies because there's no insert that did make me a little bit sad when i just noticed that so it'd be nice if there was a slot for the cards i think and and just a pile like it wouldn't have to be a fancy insert would it just a card slot card slot and then a pile for the standees but you know baggies it keeps it simple doesn't it probably lowers the cost this was not an expensive game now guys this is a kickstarter exclusive sticker set so you get to like change up and uniqueify your own dungeon by adding these sort of vinyl stickers on top of some of the tiles if you want you don't have to but i thought it was a nice touch makes every person's individual copy unique if they want oh in fact it then goes on to explain customization and i will talk about that as well because this is something they did that was cool so you can make your own quests i've not looked into that but there's this free web app where you can can you create your own items i've not seen if you can create your own items maybe uh, but i know you can make your own hero i know that because i've done it and you can explain how to go about picking all the pieces that you need for your hero dead straightforward dead simple but the idea is you know your kids can draw a picture of whatever they want whatever hero they can imagine upload it although it's, i don't think it's uploaded i think it's done locally that's a uh, computer geek speak probably doesn't matter for a lot of you but you're not going to upload your images to the internet if you care about your safety and then you can also make your own enemies so your kids can draw disgusting looking creatures you can design them and play it in the game which is a benefit of it being standees because you're able to print them all out and everything like that rule book is in here and let's just skim through full color diagrams explanations this is not a lot of text is it and there's not much on each page there's more pictures than anything and the fat in the back so we're talking about looks like about 14 pages of rules minus the front 
cover. I don't know if you count that. Not too rule intensive. I'm going to go read that now so we can play this game tomorrow morning when my daughter wakes up. We have also presented with the book of quests. So it's a quest based dungeon explorer, probably some setup and some rules of what you need to do on each quest. And it's all presented here. I also forgot, but re-noticed that some of these quests are designed by people you may or may not know, but I can't find one now. Uh, somewhere in here, here you go. Paula Deming wrote this one. So this is a quest by her, and I'm pretty sure some other people have done some of the others, and I noticed some names I'd heard of. I don't know who this is, but Alex and Ricky Radcliffe, Board Game Co. I guess some of you might know them. But, oh, this is Death by Monsters. Matthew Jude, who's also on This Game is Broken podcast. Anyway, loads of quests there. In the bottom of the box, we've got all of the cardboard and it's as i said it's standees so these are this is a character playable character playable character i think these are playable these probably are as well so these are all of your characters that you can pop out i think this one's based on cora who is the game designer oh that's dan as well so they're both in the game then you've got monsters and some tokens for something second wind token we've got a load more monsters on this tile there's dials in the game and I've lost it, but there was a bag of the plastic pieces you need for the dial. I noticed that explanation here for the health tracker. You've got a load more tokens. You've got treasure chests to place on the mat. More dials. I guess there's probably a dial for each character if it's their health. And some more tokens and a couple more monsters actually in here. So lots and lots of pop-outs, lots of cardboard there. Let's have a look at some of the big cards, which are going to be your, your player characters and such. Oh, if we can get in this. So as mentioned, player characters. So you've got the halfling comes with a catapult, you know, a string. You've got a dwarf. Are these are not named. They're not. These are just classes. No names. It's a shame it's not says Dan there. Uh, crossbow, crossbow dude. So it's all kid-like, kid-esque, family-orientated robot kettle. You've got the healer cat, spear woman, sword girl. Wizard woman, you know, you can just imagine gremlin imagine your kids have named this and you know That's that's the idea. This looks like kids have made it because Cora was heavily involved So fantastic then you've got a load of monsters. You've got gremlins. You've got goblins. You've got orcs. You've got treasure critters You've got rat folk spiders snakes trolls Blars, what's that? R Rimu Luna, don't know what that is. Thunder McScruggins mm, Nice name and Hedgicorn is here as well and you've got some bits I don't know. Then you've got a load of dungeon tiles. As I mentioned, it is a dungeon crawler, so you can expect lots and lots of tiles that you're going to be flipping over, moving around, or building maps. I know that my daughter Sophie has done some of the artwork in here. I would love to find it. Let's see if I can. Here we go. This is her little rat. There we go. I think that looks amazing, by the way. Very different. Well, it's not very different. It's the exact shape and figure as she drew. It's just coloured, so it looks very different thanks to Gary's little input on that. Hopefully, some of you might have backed this watching this video, and you've probably seen your own kids' artwork in here, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Despite all being kids' drawing, it looks very, very professional, very cool game to own. And then you've got some player little help cards. Next pack, we've got the item cards. So again, loads of kids will have helped draw these, and... I wasn't involved in this bit, I wasn't paying attention, probably missed out on some of these, but spider eggs, there's all sorts of items, rope in here, in fact, ah, that's one that Sophie drew as well, so two of hers are in here, but she didn't draw it as an item, but it became one, that's awesome, isn't it? You've got some more stuff, some blank cards, I guess you can probably just add your own items here, draw straight onto them if you need, some weapons, plenty of weapons to choose from. Bodyguard cat, this is awesome. Uh, some more blanks, I guess, so you can add your own weapons. Warhammer, there's so many weapons. I didn't realize there were this many by the end. Plenty of potions. I know people were involved drawing these. I saw some potions going around. Traps. Oh, there's traps in the dungeons, as well as plenty of items. And more blank cards. You can design your own pre-printed. Right size, right thickness of card. I like that. As I did mention, you can completely make your own character, and I've been away and done so. Once you've created your character, it's as simple as printing it out, just using your printer at home. Or, or you know, there are professional services if you want to get higher quality card or, and such like that. But I basically print them out because that will ding dang do. And I, you know, kids like lots of choices, so I'll be replacing them regularly. But once you've cut them out, you've got something a little bit more like this. You've got little standees for goblins. I made some goblin archers without realizing the gremlins were basically goblin archers. But a load of standees here, as well as the 
But let's get this off out of the way, as well as the, the monster card itself. So this is now able to play in the game. And then I've also gone and made a human, a human a hero is the word I was looking for. So I've added Spike as well, print out a standee that's double sided and some tokens for him. So then we're presented with two new playable creep well monsters and playable characters and if like myself there's probably a few of you out there who may or may not own a couple of miniatures you can massively upgrade your game by introducing some of your already existing painted hopefully characters and start playing with those in the game arcadia quest in particular fits perfectly and then as well obviously that's why the goblin archer is here because i've got plenty of painted up archers and then suddenly this is a much higher quality finished game without adding to your shame of pile, I'm just able to use some of my characters using their, their already existing character creator. I didn't have to hack anything, I just used something they'd built for me. Guys, I am super excited to go and play that. That's why I've had to do the unboxing as soon as it's arrived because I actually wanted to play it today, but I postponed it done the unboxing i'm going to go learn the rules and play this first thing tomorrow if you do want to see a review let us know in the comments below if you've played this game let us know what you think thank you all ever so much for watching i'll see you again soon